All right, right here is one of my new additions, my V para Paranensis. I said that right. Um, as you can see here, she uh, ever since I put this little leaf in there, she seems to be a little bit more at home. And she pretty much started digging the crap out of her little enclosure here. Um, she still hasn't eaten yet. I'm going to try to feed all these little babies uh, probably after I do this video. Um, but other than that, she's been chilling, doing very well. Um, she's about, let's see, I would say somewhere around a half an inch mark. Uh, in between a half and a three-fourths of an inch. But uh, she's doing well, like I said before. So hopefully I can uh, maybe catch a, a glimpse of her eating here, and I'll put it up for you guys. All right, let's go on the next one. All right, here's my P. regalis sling. Looking uh, pretty nice. Sorry about the glare. She's just been chilling. I'm also going to try to feed this one today, too. Um, I would say she is um, probably about a maybe inch and a quarter, uh, somewhere between an inch and a quarter and a uh, inch and a half. But yeah, she's been doing very well in this little enclosure. After she molts again, I will um, put her into something bigger. Um, but as of right now, she's just been doing well. So, all right. All right, here's my uh, still in pre-molt, which I'm not going to bug too much, uh, P. Metallica sling, around uh, two inches, give or take. Um, so like I said, she's still in pre-molt. She doesn't like the light very much, but uh, other than that, she's been super uh, happy and healthy. Um, I'm hoping she will f finally molt very soon. Um, but uh, usually, you know, when she's uh, when she's not in pre-molt, she pretty much tears crickets in two, and so she never has never had any problem eating or anything like that. Molly's getting in the way here. There she is. But yeah, she's doing very well. And as uh, soon as she molts, I'm definitely gonna post a video of it for you guys um, because I'm sure she's gonna start to look very awesome. So, all right, let's go on to the next one. All right, next here is my uh, newly acquired T. Ocarty sling. She's been doing very well. Just chilling underneath that leaf most of the time. Um, this is also uh, a little bit of a video for, I think it's Sinful 1988. This is one of the um, little plastic enclosures I use um, for ones that are about, you know, an inch. Um, sometimes I will keep them in those little... Um, uh, little jars, pill jars, like this, right here, until they get about three fourths of an inch. With this one here, is pretty close. This is actually my um, Nandu uh, Tripepi sling. Then I will upgrade them into something like that. But even if I put them in, you know, something like this, I will still always try to put a leaf or something underneath there for them to hide. Um, you know, so they have, you know, have some safety. Because sometimes I know it's a little bit maybe bigger for them what they need. But at least this way they can, you know, hide under something and they can kind of grow into it. So I don't have to rehouse them as much and mess with them as much. So there is a uh, look at two of the little enclosures I use. Alright, well you're not going to be able to see this one. She's down uh, in there. This is my OBT. She's been doing very well. She's kind of webbed up the top a little bit. I put and pretty much in all these sling, sling enclosures, what I always do is I always put just a little clump of moss or something like that, you know, or just kind of spread around the top of the substrate, and then that way, you know, when I need to get them water, um, you know, it'll have something that kind of holds the humidity a little bit longer than if you just kind of soak the substrate and spread the sides. You don't spray it on the sides. Um, but other than that, she's been doing very well. Um, she like made this quite elaborate tunnel here all the way down to down there and uh, anytime I put a cricket in there you know unless she's in pre molt she pretty much snatches it up uh, pretty quickly so this is another type of uh, I think this is just a little cup a little uh, like a gummy bear container that my uh, fiance got when you know we stopped by a gas station like six months ago and she got a thing of gummy bears so just simple little stuff like this can be used you know, for slings, like I said, I use this for arboreals 
or I will use this for um, you know uh, burrowing species because obviously you know you can put a lot of substrate in there they still have room to walk around on top if they choose so all right here's my super tiny bee smithy sling uh, I usually throw in cricket legs for her and she usually eats them eventually I would love for her to freaking molt so I could eventually take her out of this but you know they're so much slow growing species again I just put a couple pieces of tiny moss in there um, and then I just you know put a couple drops of uh, water you know maybe once twice a week just to keep it somewhat a little bit more humid but obviously you know you, you don't want too much because then you'll get moss I mean uh, excuse me you'll get mold on there so um you gotta kinda be careful with these that's the only downside to these alright here's my P uh, Conserides sling I gotta take that piece of that molt out of there but you can see she completely tore this up but she actually uses this little fake leaf to hide under most of the time which is always good I would say she is um yeah probably around an inch and a half um and like most Haitians they eat like a horse she's pretty pretty skittish um but she's never been crazy enough uh, to actually try to run out of the enclosure she just kinda runs underneath this leaf and she's usually pretty happy so um but other than that she's doing well once again as you can see just pop some holes here on the top I actually have some holes on the side this is another container that I just got out of the uh, expo and I just decided well I might as well just keep it in there keep her in there this is my Kilo Brachy's uh, Vietnam Blue I'm not gonna open this up because she's um, running around in circles like right there um, acting pretty nuts so uh, but uh, she's been doing well as you saw in the little sling feeding video pretty much made this gigantic circular tube around the out around the edge of her enclosure um, webbed it all up once again I don't know if you can tell or not but there was a leaf in there with moss like I've said before um, holes on the top um, and I just put a couple holes on the side just for cross ventilation because I've noticed that with these little sling enclosures um, and really any enclosure you know cross ventilation is one of the huge things that can help reduce the uh, you know mold um, just so it has a little bit more airflow um, so that you know the mold doesn't uh, have you know as much kind of stale air to kind of you know start sporing and all that kind of stuff and growing so alright here's my beautiful P. Camberjai she was out on the other side of her cork bark there um, but since I picked it up she ran off and hid under here um, she's doing well I would say she is um, easily four inches um, right now she hasn't been super aggressive with me she's usually just kind of skittish um, but she still eats like a horse um, and she just likes to kind of chill you know on on this side or the other side of the cork bark which this is just some little storage container and then I just took a you know a drill and just drilled some holes around the side here drilled a couple holes on the top there um, and then uh, just kind of you know set the cork bark in there once again I put some I gotta give her some more water put some I actually glued some moss on the side of the cork bark uh, which is what I'm gonna do pretty much for all my uh, arboreals that way I can just kind of spray the side of the cork bark there and once again the moss holds the humidity just glue the little water cap in there water uh, bottle cap in there put a little bit of moss on the substrate just kind of sitting on top underneath around the water dish and that way, you know, once again, it holds the humidity pretty well.